Sarah, these have, these have been some dark times. I'm just wondering how it's been for you in your context. I think the biggest challenge has been supporting our staff, um, for whom life's been very difficult. You know, they, lots of them have the same anxieties as everyone else, but in a very um, intense way because of the increased uncertainty of working in a hospital and who might they come into contact with and what's going on. At one time, we had over 100 people here with COVID-19. That's an awful lot of people to be cared for um, with a reduced workforce because we've had people unwell too. I'm sure there's a lot of, it's, there's, there's been a lot of darkness, but where, where have you seen the light? Um, I've seen it in the care and kindness of others as they visit their loved ones. These precious moments in moments of real sorrow, but of, of witnessing the love. I think the Queen said, didn't she, um, that our streets weren't empty because of fear, but because of love, because of the love that we held for each other, we were staying indoors. What has your faith meant to you as you've been going through this? I think the powerful message of the God who is with us, the God who is with us in pain, the God who is with us in suffering, the God who is with us in death, the God who never leaves us, who's part of our very being, is an enormous strength and enormously powerful. Um, that's not to say that the suffering and the pain and the difficulty doesn't feel very real and doesn't feel unfair and cruel, but it is to say that God is still here and that that suffering around the world is, is part of God's pain, and part of God's heartache.